This company is an American multinational corporation and a major player in the financial services industry worldwide. The company's principal services include processing of payments amongst banks that issue debit and credit cards to customers and banks of merchants. Yes my friends, in today's video we are going to be discussing the success story of Mastercard. These cards carry the hallmark of Mastercard on them making them eligible for the services from the company. The company has been publicly traded since 2006 and its cooperative Mastercard Worldwide is owned by more than 25,000 financial institutions across the globe. Mastercard Inclusive employs a total of 10,300 people as of 2015 and Ajay Pal Singh Banga as its current president and CEO. Welcome to Schematic World. This is Shantan Mukherjee helping you how to grow yourself today. If you are new here and want to learn more on how companies develop their success paths, then do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell notifications so that you never miss an update. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The corporation was founded way back in 1966 by many California-based banks to give competition to Bank America, which at the time was issued by the Bank of America. It was originally called as Interbank, which later was changed to Master Charge. The parent company behind Mastercard was United California Bank and later other banks such as Wells Fargo, Crocker National Bank, Bank of California and Union Bank of California merged it in. It was in 1979 that the card was finally renamed Mastercard and has maintained this name ever since. On May 25, 2006, the company was offered publicly and its stocks were traded at NYSE under the symbol of MA. The business for Mastercard ever since it established has not been hassle-free. The company was successfully sued along with Visa by ATM operators which claims that credit card networks rules were behind fixing the access fee to ATMs. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of independent operators and National ATM Council. Then, back in 1996, both Visa and Mastercard paid a total of 3 billion US dollars in damages to several retail giants such as Walmart, Sears Roebuck and Corporation and Safeway. At that time, the corporation was sued together by a total of 4 million merchants. The lawsuit was filed by Hangens Berman. Furthermore, the company has faced several antitrust issues back in the United States constantly in the late 90s. The company was also in the news in late 2010 when it had blocked all the payments to the WikiLeaks organization on claims that it was engaged in illegal activities. Mastercard received a lot of protests due to this and a group called Anonymous launched an online attack on this company. However, the Mastercard brand still has managed to maintain its dignity and has a successful market reach overall. Its tagline of the priceless campaign has been quite successful and it earned a lot of praise too. It also had many sponsors during the sporting events worldwide such as the UEFA Champions League, FIFA World Cup, Major League Baseball and Formula 1 Racing. Mastercard stands very well and is received by many prestigious financial magazines which have deemed it to be one of the most successful brands ever. To summarize, strategic planning, strategic marketing and strategic thinking was one of the few reasons why Mastercard today has gone to their place where it has always dreamed of being. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know from you down in the comments below that what do you think about the success story of Mastercard. Also do drop a like on this video and please consider subscribing and with that said, I shall catch you in the very next one. Thank you and have a nice day.